uh, countries, as you've seen, are trying to find a path out and a path towards uh, uh, a, a new normal, as many people have put it. And we're going to be on that pathway for a long, long time. And as we've seen in some countries, even a small uh, uh, recurrence of disease can cause and the need for a serious response in terms of the public health response. At the moment, we obviously consider the risks to still be high uh, at all national, all regional and at global level. Uh, but there is no formal system of, of de-escalating this other than for WHO to take to change its national, global and regional risk assessments. Um, and obviously, as I said, the IHR only allows WHO two choices. There is either a global health, public health emergency, or there is not. And I think we're, this is what we all fear, is a vicious cycle of public health disaster followed by economic disaster, followed by public health disaster, followed by economic disaster. Um, there is some magical thinking going on uh, that uh, lockdowns work perfectly um, and that uh, unlocking lockdowns will go great. Uh, both are fraught with dangers. Um, just putting in place swinging lockdowns can do as much harm as good if it's not done, as Maria said, carefully. This virus may become just another endemic virus in our communities, and this virus may never go away. HIV has not gone away, but we've come to terms with the virus, and we have found the therapies, and we've found the prevention methods, and people don't feel as scared uh, as they did before, and we're offering life to people with HIV, long, healthy lives to people with HIV. Uh, and I'm not comparing the two diseases, but I think it is important that we're realistic. And I don't think any